Today's meditation is a manifestation, it's a calibration, it's a visualization, and we're gonna talk about creating your flow vortex, stepping into it, and this is a really powerful one, one I've been practicing with some amazing results over the last 12 months or so. So I want you to start this meditation, as always, by just getting nice and loose, open, strong but soft, that's that yin but yang, and just breathing into the heart. Nice and strong, but slow breath into the heart. And just a soothing long exhale as well. Just breathe into the heart. The spirit lies in the heart. And as you breathe into the heart, I want you to start to really step into and feel your true nature. We're gonna start with the true nature of us all. We all possess a similar childlike or puppy-like true nature of that of just pure love. We are pure love, pure light, pure spirit, enthusiasm, passion for life, inspiration, joy, gratitude. This is the natural state of us all. So I want you to just feel into those feelings of you in that true state. So think about all the times you've been in love or been loving to someone, someone close to you, not so close. Breathing in and feeling into those moments of when you've been full of fun, joy, energy, inspiration, and just recalibrating that feeling, that state, that vibration of our true self. Have a light smile on your face. Keep breathing into the heart. Strengthening that vibration through the entire body. And as we build on that, I want you to think about all your unique gifts. What is your true nature that's individual to you? Some of us are more creative. Some are extra nurturing, extra fun, extra strong talented at certain things. I want you to think about all the unique aspects and characteristics of you. This is your true self and we want to step into this, into this vibration which we're going to call the flow vortex, the vortex of energy that's just accumulating through you. And I want you to just go through moments in your life where you've been in this state Maybe you're a visionary, maybe you're a great athlete, maybe you're strong, you're a source of strength, you're a great listener, you're full of heart, you're nurturing, who knows? You just keep repeating all those things incredible about yourself, your true state, your highest state, your flow state. I want you to really feel these feelings, this energy just accumulate, spiraling in that vortex through the body, just charging you up with just energy, life force is just rampant through the body, it's flowing through you. And just breathing in your spirit. When you breathe in your true nature, it will fill you with life force, energy, inspiration, in spirit. Just charging you up. This is your natural state. This is who you are. Maybe at times you're pulled out of it and that's what we're gonna go through next. I want you to think about all the times that you have been pulled out of this flow state, maybe daily so far, but we're gonna change that. What triggers or what pulls, what pulls you out of flow state, out of this vortex? Might be stress, might be other people, bad environment, work environment that you need to leave, relationships you need to end, habits, for me is poor habits, dietary habits, lack of discipline, stagnation, negative self-talk. These are all little traps that can just keep pulling you out. Maybe you've been pulled out for some time, that's okay. We'll break that, because it's not the true self. And it's very exhausting to be outside the vortex. 
And as you think about the moments that pull you out of your vortex, I want you to visualize just getting up, making the decision to step back into it, step back home, step back into your vortex. And it should feel quite relieving to be back in your vortex. It's like I'm back home in my spirit. And I really want you to see out of the vortex as, as a place you do not spend much time. And I want you to visualize going through this week, what are some triggers that might pull you out? And I want you to visualize you not staying in there long at all and just coming back to this state. Remember who you are. Great quote in The Lion King, you must remember who you are. You need to remember who you are daily and calibrate this vibration. This is the true self. And just go back into that vortex more strongly now by going back to your manifestations and, and that calibration of your characteristics. And I want you to now visualize going through the week in this peak state, expressing the highest form of yourself, the truest expression of your true nature. Let God and your gifts, your higher self express itself through your body, visualize be your creativity, your energy, your light heart, your enthusiasm, lighting up others. I want you to just visualize the body, your diet, your interaction with others, the people close to you, the workforce, how you treat the waiter. Just visualize you full of life. You're buzzing with life. It's just oozing out of you. People can feel your vibration, your heart a mile away. full of love, full of light, full of you. And now for the first time, we wanna start looking at the manifestation of what we start to get by living in this vibration. So I want you to think even further forward for the month, maybe the year, all the things that you want to come into and we're gonna attract into your life. When we be a certain way, our behavior the vibration creates an attraction to that being and we start to create haves and we start to manifest things into our life. But we don't think about the haves, we really focus on the being first. So I just want you to keep visualizing this year unfolding, the whole year, you in your flow state, in your vortex, just floating, flying through life. What starts to become available to you? What relationships come into your life? What conversations, what opportunities, what wealth, what, op what money, what health, what vitality. When you're living in your true nature, the nature of the Tao starts to work with you. It's part of living in Tao. I want you to just visualize everything unfolding for you, the universe working with you in harmony with yourself, your higher self. And that visualization can now become a little bit of a combination of the manifestation, the things we get, maybe the house, the, the relationships, the body, and we mix that with the being because we've got to raise the being to match the haves. So what's the being of someone that's in amazing shape? What's their discipline? What's their routine? What's their focus? That's what we visualize. If you want a big company, what's the leadership you have to step into to, to get to that? Just finishing up now, breathing into the heart, being aware of your calibration, your state. This state is available to you at any time. It doesn't always have to go through a 10 minute process like this. You can tap back into your vortex at any time, multiple times a day. And with that in mind, go have a great day, great week, express the self, live life to the fullest and and experience the joy, the gift of life to its fullest. Enjoy.